Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session on Ask PYS. So we've got a question here from a fellow boarder. Um, he asks, I just purchased a new char plotter and have to install a new transducer. Should I go with a through haul or an in haul? Okay, so you've got a char plotter. Um, it's not mentioned in the question, but char plotters can now come with built-in sounders. So a sounder is a way where you can actually connect the transducer directly in the back of the device, and it's actually gonna show you a bottom profile, like a fish finder. So transducers come in really, let's call them three different flavors. Through haul, in haul, and transom mount. Let's start with the worst. An in haul transducer is okay at best. Right? It's like having a conversation through a wall with someone on the other side. You can maybe sort of hear someone through a wall and through a door and you can maybe make out what they're saying, but sending all that energy through the hull of your boat and then in the hopes that it's gonna to get to the bottom, there's gonna be a lot of what's called signal attenuation through the hull. Some of us, like my boat, very thin hull, maybe half an inch. Some boats have an inch or more of fiberglass. So if you're gonna do an in-haul transducer, right? So not through-haul, but an in-haul, so you glued it on the inside, you can lose a lot of signal, uh, sending that sound through the hull and then trying to get to the bottom and back. So generally when we install these in-haul transducers, we do it temporarily, we do it as a backup, we do it for redundancy, but I always tell people, you gotta set your expectations and they better be pretty low. Whatever you're doing with that transducer is gonna be nothing compared to a transducer that is either transom mount, which is directly in the water, or a through-haul transducer, which is also effectively directly in the water. So given a choice, and I know it's way more money and you gotta put a hole in your boat and you gotta haul out, it's always, always better to go with a through-haul transducer or transom mount transducer than an in-haul transducer. So the other thing too is, now you've got transom or in-haul. In Depends on your boat, right? So some smaller boats are gonna have without boards. It depends. Some of them are gonna have transom mount transducers. Sailboats are not gonna have transom mount transducers. And of course, there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna tell me I have one. Every rule has an exception. But generally, for the most of us, for sailboaters, it's gonna be either an in-haul transducer or through-haul transducer. And for a lot of boats below 30 feet, uh, it's common, especially without boards, to have actually a transom mount transducer. The other question that was part of that question too was, well, what do I do if I wanna have two transducers? So on that note, and shortly, because that's a whole topic onto itself, if you're gonna have two transducers running at the same time concurrently, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're actually operating at different frequencies. If they're not, you're gonna have interference, and as you go into deeper water, it's very possible that you're gonna start having interference, and you're gonna start losing your depth and the way to troubleshoot that is to turn one of them off and see if the depth, com the depth sounder comes back on the other one. And if it does, then you know that you've got interference. So if you're having multiple transducers on your boat running at the same time, you need to make sure that they're different frequencies. Maybe one of them is chirp and the other one is 5200. So transducers is one of those things that it sounds simple, but there's a, a lot of devils into the details, all right? Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.